Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at binary numbers and addition and we're also going to take a look at how you can make a negative number. Now, when you're programming, which you may not be a programmer yet, maybe you're just taking an introduction course, but later on when you learn to program, you're probably going to want to do stuff, you know, things like this. You're going to have, I don't know, some variable called a and you're going to say, alright, well I'm going to make a uh, a is going to be equal to 3 plus 10. Okay, and then somewhere inside your computer, so this is your computer here, somewhere inside here, there's going to be some little piece of information, and this is going to say, uh, I don't know, this will be A, and then this will say, yeah, A is equal to 13. Okay, so this is inside your computer here. Now, how it goes from the programming language, this, to being in your computer and how the computer stores that information really depends a lot on the compiler or the thing that you're running the program in. So if you're in you know, C or C++, you run a compiler. If you're using Python, you're going to use uh, the interpreter, which is pretty much the same thing except one leaves you with a file at the end and the other just runs this code as it is. Okay, so let's look at a quick example of how this might happen in the actual computer. So what happens is, and, and I'm going to use very simple terminology here, I'm not going to write it as assembly code, which is what this really is, is when the compiler or the interpreter looks at this, it says, all right, well, I've got a three. Okay, so it says uh, move three into, and so it moves it into this little box, okay? And then we're going to learn this later. This is a register. But right now, you don't need to worry about this, this word. Um, and the next thing, we're going to move the 10 okay, into its own little box. And what are we doing with these? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do the add. Okay. So, and then it's going to add these two boxes together. So why we do it like this is because we want these numbers actually separate from the operation that's going to happen. So if I put a different operation here, there'll be a different thing here. And inside your computer, it will get sent to someplace different. Okay, so inside the computer, there's like a, a little another miniature computer that just does addition. And there's another little miniature computer that's just doing multiplication or division and things like that. Okay, so you may not have learned any of that stuff yet, and you probably will be soon if you're starting with, you know, binary numbers and stuff. But just know that the numbers themselves are stored separately than the operation, and we're just they're put in order here. So it's not like you send this whole thing three plus ten straight into the computer, and then it just does that and sends it back. Uh, all right. So keep this in mind because it's going to be really important the next part. Uh, so first thing though is I want to show you how this might happen in the actual computer. So if I had this, it would take these numbers here. So maybe it says, uh, so 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is binary for 3. And then it will take the 10 and can change it to binary. So 8, 0, 2. So we know the answer is 13, uh, so how do I add these up? Well, to add a binary number is, is just like adding any other numbers. You go 1, 0, and you're going to get 1. 1 and 1 would give me 2, but I actually have to carry a number over because there is no 2 in binary. So this becomes 0, this becomes 1, and 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, and 0 plus 1 is 1. And then if you look at this, this is 8, 4, and this last one's 1, so this gives us 13. So that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so let's look at another example and how it might work. So this is this one's a little more confusing because there's an extra step that needs to be done. So we're going to do the same thing, a little bit, not almost the same thing, but close to the same thing. So I'm going to do A, and this time I'm going to do 10 minus 3. So in the computer, it's going to say, 
uh, move three or actually sorry let's do a move move ten move three and then what it will do is uh, subtract okay now subtraction is actually just the same thing as adding a negative right so in the computer it's it's not going to do this subtraction what's it, what it's going to do is it's going to add a negative three okay so instead we're just going to add a negative but how do I make a negative number so if, if I have three three is going to be my negative number so this is going to be 10 plus a negative three how do I write a negative number in binary so if I have a binary number three it's going to be this but I can't put this here that's impossible to do so how do I keep track of this well your first inclination might be to say well to to make something negative what I'll do is I will just take this right here and if it's a one then it'll be negative so I'd have one zero one one that would be a negative three and a if I had a zero zero one one that would be a positive three and that sounds good except that now we're wasting this bit over here keeping track of positive and negatives and it also leads to some issues when we want to add because that means we're gonna have to build those little those little uh, miniature computers I say miniature computers but it's just a set of operations that happens inside your your processor uh, I'm gonna have to make sure that it never adds this last bit because that's always going to be positive or negative and that that can lead to issues as well so the clever way of doing this is something called two's complement. Okay, oops, two's complement. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna back that up. There we go. So two's complement is a way that we can keep all four bits, and we can have a negative number. So, for example, if I'm gonna move this down just a little bit here. If I want to take my three and make it a, uh, I'm going to move this here. I want to take my three and I'm going to make it into a negative. I do two things. First, switch all bits. Okay, so the first step is take all the bits and switch them. So this becomes zero, this becomes zero, this becomes one, and this becomes one. And the next step is add one. Okay, so if you do this part right here, if you just switch all the bits, this is actually called one's complement. So the second step here, adding one, that's what makes it two's complement. So we have one and then two. So next you're gonna add a one. So if you're adding a one, it's the same thing as we learned how to add up there. So you get one, one, zero, one. Now, why does that help us? This looks like some odd, this doesn't even look like the number I'm used to. In fact, if I read this, this is, this is what I had all the way up here. Like, look at this, this is 13. So how does that even make sense? Well, it doesn't matter what this is. It matters what you tell the computer to do with it. So even though this says it's 13, if I'm using the add a negative or the subtract operation, when it does this, it's going to do something special. So this is what it does. It takes my 10. If I had 10 here, so this number we have 10, uh, which is uh, we're doing 10 plus a negative 3. So 10 is, and I'm going to go ahead and write this in a different color here. So we have 10, 1, 0, 1, 0, right? And then I have 3, or negative 3. Okay. And negative 3 is going to give me this, 13. 1, 0, whoops. 1, 1, 0, 1. All right. So what I'm actually going to do is just add. 
So I add this just like I normally would. And when I add it just like I normally would, I get one, one, one. And now this is where it gets a little tricky. This becomes a zero. And now I carry a one and I have this extra out here. Now, because the computer knows that I'm adding and it knows uh, that I'm doing this add a negative instead of just straight adding, I'm adding a negative, it's actually going to ignore this bit here. So what I'm looking at is the final result, which is 1, 2, 4, or 7. Okay, And that's 2's complement. So just to quickly rehash what we did here, if you have 10 minus 3, it's the same thing as saying 10 plus a negative 3. When you send that into the computer, it doesn't care really uh, what these are, okay? Use 10, 3. This is what matters most here, okay? It matters if you're going to add a negative or just add two positives. And it knows to drop this last bit if you're adding a negative, okay? So two's complement. Switch all the bits, then add a 1. Uh, I'll put some practice questions and some other stuff up on the Left Peel website as well. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.